This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make a Static Page Your Home Page or Front Page. And what do we mean by static page uh, versus some other kind of page? In WordPress, um, when it began, it was created as a blogging uh, software, blogging platform. And so by default, it still keeps that kind of blogging um, character and puts chronological posts on the home page. So if you can see here, uh, this is the home page of Business Blogging 101 website that I use for these tutorials. And these are individual posts created um, using the right post in the dashboard. And they each have a date um, on which they were created. Okay. And if I were to go into the dashboard right now and click on write post, let's just try this real quick and I'll show you what I mean. And I create a new new post. New post post text. Okay. And I'll call that latest news and I'll publish then what we will see on the home page most of you probably know this there I just created a new post okay and it replaces it's got a, a today's date and it replaces at the top of the page the previous post okay and so each new post will push um, all of the ones that came before it down on the page and so it's a running chronology of of posts here on the page. So this is the blogging uh, page we might call it that serves as the home page. Okay. Now there are pages uh, as you probably know as well and I've got some created for this site about con contact us and a page called WordPress Tutorials Complete List that has a list of all the tutorials on this site. Okay, Those are three separate pages. The um, links to those pages also show up here as this um, blog is set up. It displays pages um, and their links in the left sidebar as well. That's not always true. Um, in fact, it's kind of redundant to have them across the top and down the side. You can see the difference here is that the About page has subpages, and links to those display here in the sidebar. I've created a couple uh, sub or child pages, um, but they don't appear with the navigation up top. Okay, and that's just something that can be set in WordPress. Um, it's kind of a custom thing that you have to establish, and I'm not going to talk about that here. What we do want to talk about is how to take a static page like this WordPress Tutorials Complete List page and make that our home page. Okay, so let's see how we do that. Um, go into Options, Reading, and here we have a front page section of that Reading Options, and you can say, I want uh, my latest posts, okay, select your latest post to appear on the front page or select a static page to appear as the front page, okay, so now we're just going to pick the one that I mentioned, WordPress Tutorials, okay, as the front page and I'm going to leave this post page which is another option if you can see, um, I'm just going to leave that uh, without a selection, okay, and show you what happens, so updating go back out to the front and now if I refresh I'm actually refreshing the tutorials complete list page but now if I click on the home okay there we have the home page I'll show you the about page real quick and click on the home button and you can see that the WordPress tutorials complete list is now showing up when I click on the home and you could tell if you look at the uh, URL up top it's the main uh, domain name for the site, okay, which tells us that this is the home page. Um, now where are our blog entries? 
they're not readily apparent anymore because they're not on the home page, they're not on the front page. Uh, we can access the blog by going to other links like categories, if you can see that, or archives. So if I click on the latest news category, okay, now I can see my posts that are, you know, uh, that fall under the latest news category. Okay, but there's no chronology necessarily that says um, your first post is going to appear. So we need to create a page uh, for our blog. Okay, and that also is pretty pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go. Um, actually, that's not what I want. I want to go go to write and write a page. Okay. Once we get there, okay, right page. Now I can call this anything I want. I'm just creating a new page. I could use a page that already exists if I want to for the blog page, but I don't want to get rid of the other pages that I have, so I'm going to create a new page called blog. And I don't have to put anything in the body of the page. I'm just calling it blog, and you'll see why in a second, okay? Um, I'm not going to give this page a parent. I'm going to make it a main page, and that way the link to the page will show up in the main navigation. Okay, I'm clicking on Publish. That is done. Now I click on Refresh here, and you can see I'm going to go back to the home page. But you see that I have a new button up top, right? And also in the sidebar here, same link. Um, to the blog page. Okay, now right now, this is still just a static page. It has nothing on it, okay, except for a comment box, which uh, pages really shouldn't have, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, so our blog page is an empty page, but we're going to make it our, our actual blog page by going back to Options in the dashboard, Reading, as you recall, and we have the front page uh, designated as WordPress Tutorials Complete List, and the post page, now we can select our blog page there, okay, update, very nice, and go back out here, and now if I click on blog, the blog link, there it is, you see I have my chronological blog entries. Okay, what was on the home page is now on this page that we created and called blog. And using the dashboard uh, told WordPress to make that our blog page and not the home page. So if I go click on home, here's my new home page with WordPress tutorials on it. Okay, and my blog page is now a button that I can click to go to the blog page. Pretty snappy. A um, couple other things. If you look at uh, managing pages, you can set the order. You'll notice this goes about blog, contact us, WordPress tutorials. What if I want blog, the blog button to appear after WordPress tutorials, say? Okay. Um, so I need to go manage pages. And if we look at our blog page, I'm going to go edit that. I'm just going to point this out real quick because I'm running out of time. My 10 minutes that Yahoo, or rather uh, YouTube gives me. Um, this frame here, I hope you can see it, is called page order. Open that up. If I put a number in there, like a 5, which we'll see what happens. Um, okay, I'm going to save but page order, okay? You can open that box and then put a number in. Save it. Go back out here. Let's see where our blog button goes. There, did you see that? The blog button moved all the way over here to the right, okay? And I can do the same with any of these other pages, giving them a number, and as long as you put it in order, right now by default, the blog goes to the end because the others don't have a number assigned to them. Okay. Um, 
And that is about it. If you want to remove this WordPress Tutorials Complete List button, there's another way to do that. Uh, and if you are concerned about that, send me a comment and I'll tell you how.